perish but have everlasting life and verse 17 says for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he has sent us on a mission church and is to win the lost at any cost am I still in a Holy Ghost church are you still here he wants us to get busy and witness for him and testify for him and bring in the loss to his kingdom because the harvest truly is plenteous but the labors are few we focus more on our jobs more than the things of God it should never be wherever you are you must represent the kingdom because that's where you are from shout glory somebody It's not to close. Mordecai said to Esther, Who to tell that thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? The Lord save you not to sit down in church, but to go and win the lost. He said, Our Father, as you have sent me, so I'm sending them. Sending them to win the loss. You read the Bible. He said we should go on the highways. Go on the byways. And compel men to come that my house may be full. How do you feel coming here Sunday after Sunday with so many empty chairs? And you're not doing nothing about that. Oh, it's pastor's work. No, honey. You're involved also. He called you to win the lost at any cost. Can you give God a praise? Can somebody give God a praise? If you are sent by God, it's not to look about houses and land and finance, even about yourself. It's about reaching the lost for the kingdom of God. They are not of this world we're not supposed to be so involved with the world that we have no time for the things of God the law rebuked that I should be more available to my master than anything else in this world I'm preaching good and I'm preaching good today hallelujah I send you he said I send you into the world I send you as, is it sheep among wolves? So I said, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. He said, if the world hate me, they'll hate you too. When we see sin, we must let people know it's sin. I thank God my wife and myself were in the word. We're looking out Jesus operator. He was not afraid to call them Pharisee hypocrites. He said, you, 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 you have your water look white and pretty outside, but inside you're full of dead men bones. Can I talk to somebody? And sometimes we fail to tell people the truth because I'm a losing friend. Well, help me, church of God. It's not about losing friend. It's about losing the kingdom. And I can't afford to lose the kingdom. You got to tell it as it is. So you get it. So you cut it. Can you say, my church of God, Jesus never compromise. And if we are his ambassadors representing him uh, we're not supposed to compromise uh, but tell them as is uh, where you have come from an ambassador is there not to present himself but to present, represent the country he is from you are here not for yourself you should not have a dress to please yourself I lose somebody right there I must dress to please God I must carry myself in a way that heaven is a proof of me because that's where I'm from. Can somebody, are you getting the church of God? Are you getting?
yet in this church of God. You are in the Bible says, uh, Jesus says, I am from above, you are from beneath. But once you give your heart to Jesus, hear what the Bible says. Uh, he said, if he then be risen with Christ, uh, set your affection on things above uh, and not on things on the earth. Why? For he are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Uh, when Christ who is uh, our life shall appear, then, uh, then shall he also appear with him in glory. He said, mortify therefore the deeds of your members which are upon the earth fornication, covetousness unclean spirit can I talk to somebody he said you are once them among them but now you are washer you are sanctified, you are justified can you shout down there the child of God who is sent by the Lord must represent the kingdom not yourself but the kingdom from where you are from stop spend time on yourself and spend time to please almighty God I am not of this world how do you know if you are not of this world check your obedience to the word of God to leadership to those that God even sets above you where, where were we and the, the preacher was saying that deeper life how can you obey God who you can't see and the person that God said you don't want to obey them it don't work that way the Bible says we should even give them high regard. Amen. Those that even watch for your soul. He said, the Bible put this way, even give them double honor. When the Lord set up his servants and sent a word for his people, or uh, set a leader over you, not for the leader to abuse situation, but to guide you the right way, you should obey that leader. He said, I sent them into the world. Say, Father, as you have sent me, so have I sent them. So are you a sent one? And if you are a sent one, what are you doing about your mission? What are you really doing about your mission that you're sent to? Because if, when I, when we were with the Poor Faith Ministries, Bishop sent me to Canada to start a work. I was not there to represent myself. I was there as a representative of the Power Faith Ministries. Watch this. Although I start the ministry, it's not mine. I was sent by the Power Faith Ministries. So I can't say, this is my ministry. Yes. And I report to Bishop XYZ because he sent me out. Amen. And I got to respond to headquarters. Yes. Can somebody say amen? They paid my fear. Can I talk to the church? To and from because I was sent yes. by the church. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, I have sent you. Yes. So God paid your debt already. Somebody says something down there. Yeah. The Bible said Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. <laughs> Sin I left a crimson stain. Yeah. He washed it white as snow. He paid the way for us to bring in the loss. What are we doing? Amen. About our commission. As I have, as you have sent me into the world. So have I sent them. It means that. As I walk this world, they must know I'm different from them. Amen. The Bible says you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill 
cannot be hid. It goes on further, not the five said, Let her do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, so it give it light unto all that are in the house. He went further to say in Matthew 5, He are the son of the earth. But if the son has lost its savor, wherefore shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast under foot of men. As I have sent them. As you have sent me, yes. so have I sent them. Stand everybody. I am not of this world. And because I'm not of this world, it means I belong to another country. Go to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. It says, but now they desire. It says, if they had been mindful from the country, from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, which is a heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he had prepared for them a city. That's for those who are not of this world. Those who are called out, those who are set apart. So if you are sent, what have you done since you are called? Since You've been washed in Jesus' blood. What have you been doing for the kingdom of God that you and I are supposed to represent? Don't allow work to kill your time and not given what is due to Almighty God. Can I repeat that, somebody? Amen. Don't allow work to kill the time that God's supposed to get. And then when the end of the day is done, God get nothing from you today. You are not where you are to present yourself. You are there to represent heaven. I am not of this world. Every person that belong to this world, I said before, they are on their way to hell. They are going to hell. But that can be turned around today. And status can be changed. A transfer can take place. You can become naturalized. Hallelujah. Where you change citizenship by surrendering your life to Jesus today. And say all to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. I am not of this world. And Jesus said that they all may be one as thou Father art in me and I in thee, that they may also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them that they may be one even as we are one. There is a glory that is upon the church. God, through Jesus Christ, has given every believer a glory. And that we must represent him in this world. So when the world look at us, they must see the glory of God. Amen. They must see the glory of God. I don't want the world to see me. If the world is seeing me, I'm a failure. I am not representing the world I am from. That is why one of these days I'm going to where I belong because of what the blood of Christ has done. Jesus put it this way. He said, no man can ascend to heaven except he that descend from heaven. And the very day that you get saved, his spirit came on you. His spirit came from heaven. That is why in the rapture we'll be caught up because his spirit is now in us. You are here today. You are not saved. You belong to this world. Once you are another Christian, you belong to this world. And if you belong to this world, it means you're going to end up bad. You are here and you know you've been sent, but you're doing nothing for God. No witnessing. Reaching to no one for the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you here today also. I want you to come, but those who are not saved, come also. 
you're, you belong to this world if you're not born again. Once you're born again, you belong to another world. There's a line drawn. Because any man being Christ, as I said before, the Bible says, is a new creature. There's a line drawn. You either belong to this world or to another world. But you cannot have one foot here and one foot there. There is no in between. You either belong to this world or belong to another world. You either a Christian or a child of the devil. You're either saved or you're not saved. You're either on your way to heaven or on your way to hell. But there can be a turnaround. Did you watching me on, 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 on Facebook and you stream and those but who viewed me on BCAT. If you are not a Christian, you belong to this world. And if you belong to this world, you're going to end up bad. I encourage you today, surrender your life to Jesus. Ask him to come into your heart. Pray one simple prayer. Lord, I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and change my life. I invite you to come. If you want me to pray for you today, you're not saved, come. You know you've been called up the Lord, but you ain't doing nothing for God. Come make a fresh commitment to the Lord that I can begin to win the lost. I can do what he want me to do. I want to make a difference in the kingdom of God. He said, Father, as you have sent me into the world, so have I also sent them into the world. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender Church, just stand with me right now. I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all to Thee, all to Thee, my blessed Savior. Recognizing that they are 
they belong to this world but they need to belong to the world that, that we are from God and, and so today they need to do a transfer God Almighty to become the new naturalized God by confessing their sins inviting Jesus in their hearts we pray today that you lay your hands upon them you touch them yourself God Touch Michelle, God. I've been praying for her. I've been praying for Vanessa, God. I've been praying, I've been praying, I've been praying. Here is his run today also, God Almighty. We're praying for them right now, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. As you lay your hand upon little children and bless them. Lord, as they come in childlike faith this afternoon, we pray, oh God, that you will lay your hands on them yourself. That you, God, will touch them. Show them the need for a change. Let there be a transfer today, oh God, even before it is too late. Because we know your coming is near. Anytime, oh God, you can put in your appearance, oh God. I pray that you touch them. Bring them to the cross. Open their eyes. Let them surrender to you, God. Even before it is too late. Acclaim their souls. Acclaim them one and all. Oh God, as they go through this door today, I pray that the Holy Ghost will go with them. Bring conviction that will lead to conversion, God. Because you love them with a perfect love. Oh God today we are in agreement the church is in agreement for their souls oh God it says not your will that any should perish but it all should come to repentance let them repent today and surrender to you God because we're believing even now we're believing for Michelle we believe for Vanessa we believe for Mrs. Ezra oh God let this day be a new beginning for them, God. Let it be a new beginning for them. Where they will say yes. 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 Yes to Jesus. I pray for us all, God. We are here today. Who are become who have become so lazy for the things of God. Lord God, we are not witnessing, we are not testifying. We're not doing as we ought to do, God. You said uh, you sent us into the world, God. Most of us, we represent ourselves by how we behave to one another and to the world. But I pray, oh God, today you'll forgive us uh, and wash us again and recommission us. Uh, let us seek to win the lost uh, at any cost, oh God. Uh, your coming is near, God, and souls are dying in sins, oh God. Uh, help us, give us a compassion give us a burden for the loss a love for sinners oh God that we seek to win souls for the kingdom of God even before it is too late help us not to bury our talents oh God but to represent you as ambassadors for you Lord you said we are not of this world even as you are not of this world take us over today Touch these three ladies at the altar again. Mark them for yourself. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The choice is yours, Vanessa. Michelle, wish to God that you'll surrender everything to the Lord. You can do it now. Not tomorrow. You can do it now. Right, right now. Time is running out. Time is running out. Surrender everything to him. Amen, Vanessa. Surrender, Michelle. Surrender, Israel. Surrender. Somebody say hallelujah. Give God praise. Give God praise. Let us stand. Praise God. Let us stand. Raise your right hand with me. And I want to him that is able to keep us from falling. And to present us faultless before his throne. To the only wise God our Savior, be dominion both now and forever. God's people say,